First, giving all praise to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rekaha Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to the better teaching this truth worldwide. I was listening to a lesson by one of the elders, one of the top elders of Great Millstone, Hebrew Israelites, at the Gabar, on his channel, Daily Edification. Daily Exhortation. The lesson entitled, We Will Be Charged With Sedition. It's a heavy lesson, very, very heavy lesson that touched the spirit of the believers and also the new believers. Sedition is a very heavy thing. But what the spirit of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahusha, gave me is Know your lot. No. Learn, know your lot, your portion, your position in this truth and accept it. Let's go to the scriptures. I'm going to go to my notes. I take a lot of notes. We're going to start with Romans 8, chapter 16, verse. Dealing with the elect. The spirit itself bear witness, bear witness with our spirit. That we are the children of Yahweh. The what spirit? That spirit of you, of the Most High. Once you, the elect that's been chosen since the foundation of the earth, hear this truth. It's gonna bear witness with your soul. It's gonna connect. And and uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Resonate with your soul. You're gonna know it's the truth. You're going to get a good feeling, Lord willing, by faith through the Spirit, like I did. The first time you hear the 100% truth taught by the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, the Spirit going to bear, wit going to bear witness with your spirit. And the teaching is that my sheep will hear my voice. Let's go back to some notes. I'm going to go to Proverbs. First chapter 14 verse. Cast in thy lot among us and let us have one person. If you, if you know the truth, if you're learning the truth, your spirit is going to bear witness to the spirit of what the truth is being taught. And that will lead you to knowing your lot and accepting your lot. Lot means portion or position. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna have to, you're gonna, the spirit gonna give you the, the uh, spirit to continue to want to learn from the elect and the elders and the apostles of the great millstone. Let's go to some more notes. John 10, chapter 27, verse. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. That sheep is talking about the elect. I mean, through, by faith through the Spirit, Lord willing, the elect that's been chosen since the foundation of the planet Earth going to hear the word, and they're going to know deep in their spirit that they are of the elect once they start studying and learning more. Referring to John 10, chapter 27, verse. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. You're going to continue to follow what the 100% truth is. It's taught by the elders and the apostles of the Great Millstone, and the Akim on down. Let's go to some more notes.
We're going to go to Romans 8, chapter 16, verse. I'll be dead with that. The spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahweh. Let's go to some more notes. More notes. Well, I didn't write, I didn't put it in. I thought I did. But I guess it gives a, a certain amount of notes you can keep. Anyway, going referring to the elect, hearing the truth, and knowing that the spirit through the through the Lord, you have about you your shy. Many are called but but few are many are called but few are chosen. And once you come to the understanding that you were co- you were chosen. Lord, when about faith through the spirit that you are of the elect, you got to do diligence to make your calling of election sure. That's plain and simple. Due diligence means keep working to verify your calling of being the elect sure. That's very simple. I had the scripture in my notes. Must be a certain amount of notes you can keep. But I had the scripture. That's why I got to be more on point and more precise with scriptures before I do a lesson. Anyway, Salakia, the elect through the spirit are chosen. And once they once they know they chosen through the spirit, you gotta do do your diligence to make your calling of election sure. Some of the elect lot or portion or position is that one day they will be martyred for this truth. Sedition is coming. We're going to be charged with sedition. If that's your lot, if that's your portion, if that's your position, accept it. Lord willing by faith through the spirit. Some of the elect going to be martyred, killed for this truth. It's a hard pill to swallow for a new believer, hearing it and knowing it and reading it in the Bible. Some of the elect will be martyred for this truth because we're going to be charged with sedition. And that's a heavy crime in the kingdom of Esau, Edom, for preaching this truth and preaching this word. But you got to grow to the point where you learn, know and understand and accept your lot position and your portion in this truth you might be martyred you might go to jail but you got to maintain and keep your faith to the end referring to revelation 2 and 10 let's get that fear none of those things this is Revelation, 2nd chapter 10, verse. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold means look. The devil shall cast some of you into prison that ye may be tried. Mm, that's deep. That ye may be tried and ye shall have tribulation that suffering. Ten days, that's a amount of time. Spiritually, it could be 10 years. Spiritually, spiritually, it could be in 10 days. Spiritually, it could mean 10 months. The deepest understanding is a period of time. You're going to face tribulation. Be thou faithful unto death. Very simple. 
and I will give thee a crown of life. I mean, it's very simple. Learn, know, and understand and, and accept your lot, your position, your portion in this truth of, spre of spreading, preaching, teaching the word, the 100% truth that's taught and given to the elders of a great millstone and the Akimon down. Because ultimately, according to Revelation 2nd chapter 10 verse, you're going to have to keep the faith until death. You might get thrown into prison. You're going to face tribulation for this truth. But the ultimate reward, the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahasha, is going to give you a crown of life. I pray that I did my best to edify the elect and those seeking and searching out the truth. I leave you with the greeting words in Paleo Hebrew. Peace be unto you of Shalom.